Now, the state of Arizona, no stranger to mortgage problems. One out of every 182 homes is in foreclosure. Adam Shapiro is on the front lines of this crisis. He joins me now from Surprise, Arizona. That's just west of Phoenix. All right, Adam, you're at the epicenter of foreclosure in Arizona. How bad is it? Well, they're number three in the country for foreclosures, and I'm in a neighborhood. We're in a city called Surprise, as you said, Stuart, and there are in a one-mile radius 70-plus homes under foreclosure. I mean, take a look at it. It's a beautiful area. 70-plus homes in foreclosure with another 70 headed that way, and that's in a one-mile radius. The home we profiled this morning was sold in 2005 for $265,000 on the market today for $119,000 in foreclosure. Exact same model around the corner. One hundred and four thousand dollars. What a second! I want Adam. you to meet. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, I'm, so, I'm Adam. Go ahead, I'm, you, you sh I'm sorry, man. You shocked me when you say that the houses that I can see they look like very nice houses mm -hmm. to me. They came from two sixty-five. Yeah, hey, take a look. All the way down to one hundred and ninety. Right here, two sixty-five. Th this is a four-bedroom house. We toured it this morning live on Fox Business. Four-bedroom, two and a half bath from two sixty-five. Corrected fifty-five percent on the market for one hundred and nineteen. Now, but Stewart, here's the rub. This same house, this exact same model around the corner is on uh, for sale for one hundred four thousand dollars. And a man who lives near that house, he's headed towards foreclosure. I want you to meet Bruce Spear. We've been talking about the Obama plan because of President Obama is announcing this foreclosure prevention plan tomorrow. Mr. Spear, in our discussions, what I heard you and your wife say is, look, don't help with this plan. Let the market correct so that people can rebuild. That is counter to what most people are saying. Well, that's it. I, I think that, you know, we, we need to take the hit and let the market correct itself rather than, you know, just turn it into another government bailout, which in the long run just hurts everybody. And I'm, I just one more question for you. What I'm hearing you say is not popular, and I know it's painful what you're going through. When I was talking with your wife, Susan, you guys are headed towards foreclosure. But I also hear you saying, look, I've got the gumption, I've got the wherewithal to rebuild. But that's not the conventional wisdom for the rest of our countrymen. They're all looking for the president to bail them out, right? Uh, that's what it seems to be. And, you know, I've always been a fairly... Uh, do it yourself, go out and get it and dig it out of the ground type of guy. And, and that's what I want to see come back is, is the economy come back to the point where, you know, we have the opportunity to go out and, and, and dig it out of the ground. And, and that's what's really dried up here and, and killed this area. And you really don't think that whatever the president announces tomorrow is going to prevent the correction anyway? No, I, I think we're just digging ourselves a deeper hole and we're just going to go down. It's, it's just going to, in the long run, it's going to hurt the country. You know, it's turning everything into either a, a socialized or, or a welfare state. And, you know, it, it's, it's a tough choice to make between do you take the bailout yeah. and keep your family, you know, somewhat secure? Or do you stick with your, your values and take the hit and, and, and basically be left to, you know, not really know what you're going to go do, but just accept you've got to go do it? Mr. Spear, thank you very much. I think a lot of people are looking up to you right now, even though you're going through a very painful time. Well, yeah. we all got to do what we got to do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Stuart, I'm going to throw it back to you, but those are the kind of people you meet here, yeah. by the way, in Arizona. Just, you know, salt of the earth. We've got some responsibilities we don't like, but we're going to get through this. Wonderful, wonderful stuff, Adam. What a great guy, a real American. Thanks very much for bringing him to us. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Gotcha.